In a faraway star system, there is a large green and black planet in which a special race of people live. These people can transport themselves into video games. The planet has a large population, but is controlled by the evil emperor Barris and his right-hand man, Bottas. From these masses of people came one to stand against the Emperor, Varnak, the superhero sworn to stamp out all of the Emperor's evil work. The Emperor's power has grown. Varnak has come to Earth to recruit help to combat the Emperor. He meets two brave young people which he convinces to help him on this crusade. The young cadets, Sabrina and Bob, are Varnak's trusted friends and assistants. We join Varnak in the midst of one of the battles. Looks bad, Commander! I just came from below and... It looks like our supply ships are weakening. We must disengage and repair the ships! Commander, I have two ships on my screen! Look again, Cadet Bob! One ship, sir? Ha-ha! Ha-ha! All right, Sabrina, take aim and fire on my command! Are you ready? Okay, easy now. Ready? 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 Darn it. Commander, what are you doing? Hello? This is Commander Varnock speaking. How may I help you? Mom? I'm in the midst of a battle. You told me that. I told you not to call me at work. What? No, I don't want to spank, and I'm sorry. What? Okay, give me the list. Commander! Five? Five pounds of Gronax? One dozen Farnack eggs? Three cans of Cadwackers? Okay, I will, Mom. Mom, I gotta go! Mom, I don't want to spank her. What? I gotta go! <laughs> I love you too, Mom. <laughs> Bye. All right, Sabrina! Where was I? A Sabrina fire now! <sighs> Woo! Ha-ha! Good shot, Sabrina! And good flying, Cadet Bob! Ha-ha! 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 That was a close one, Commander! No need to worry, Cadets. <laughs> Bob, start the repair bots, would you? Repair bots! Status report! Yes, I'm picking them up on the screen. Cadet Bob, remind me to get some new repair bots. <laughs> new repair bots. And cadets, we'll pick up this list on the way home, okay? <laughs> your mama's list, huh? Yes, it's mama's list. Now keep your eye on the screen, will you? Oh. <laughs> oh, I guess we've noticed that our friends have joined us there out in video land. <laughs> Give them a wave, cadets. Hi. Hi there. I am Commander Varnak, and I have pledged to protect all life forms from those poor quality video games. That's right. My cadets and I have pledged our very lives to protect you from those less than great video games. We're all ready for you. That's right. And now I think it's time for you viewers out there in video land to see what you're buying before you go out and spend some hard, cold cash. <laughs> okay, Cadet Bob. Compile the list on the computer for the top 10 sales for the month of February. Yes, sir, Commander. <laughs> okay, in the number one position, Super Mario Brothers number two. And holding down the number two spot, we have Bump and Jump. In the third position, Bases Loaded. <laughs> in the number four position, we have TNC Surf. Now. Slowly but surely, inching its way up in the number five position, Contra. And in the sixth position, Deadly Towers. Holding down number seven in a torrid pace is Defender 2. Now in number eight, we have RC Pro-Am. 
And number nine, Joust. And holding down the number 10 position is Galaga. Galaga. That's right, Galaga. <laughs> I knew it all along. <laughs> Maybe I have something to say about that. Okay, we've compiled this list from our vast computers, and now we're going to show you the top 10 games that were rented for the month of February. Maybe I have something to say about that. And maybe not. Cadet Bob, run the list, please. Righty, sir. Okay. Okay. Maybe I have something to say about that. No, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> and the top ten rentals for the month of February are... In the first position, Super Mario Brothers number two. In the second position, Metroid. Holding down number three, again, Wizards and Warriors. Now, coming up in the fourth position, we have Bases Loaded. <laughs> and now, in the fifth position, holding a torrid pace once again, Cobra Command. Now, number six, Adventure Island. <laughs> and in the seventh position, a Bubble Bobble. In the eighth position, Golgo -Go 13. And now, in the ninth position, old Ali North's favorite, <laughs> Contra. <laughs> and in the tenth position, Life Force. And that's our top ten list for the month of February, 1989. And once again, thank you, Sabrina, and thank you, Cadet Bob. No problem, Commander. What's next? Well, it looks as if Sabrina's playing a game. Let's take a look. Sabrina, what are you playing? I mean... What's the lowdown on that pup? Millipede, and it's really tubular. Wow! Groovy, Daddy-O! <laughs> I think I remember that game! It's a new game from Hal America, but only recently released in the Nintendo format. What do you say we take a look? When playing Millipede, you're lost in a dark, perilous, and enchanting forest. Dark, dangerous mushrooms push up through the squishy forest floor, snaring you on every side. Something slimy flashes through the mushrooms, moving in on you. The Millipede, not a normal size one, but a gigantic monster is attacking you. All you have to do is fight back with a magic arrow. Shoot his head to turn him into mushrooms. But that's not the only thing attacking you. There are more creepy, crawling, buzzing, swarming creatures in the forest. Keep fighting with your magic arrow if you're lucky. You may survive. Watch out! Here they come! Here are some hints. Arrange the mushrooms to create channels to kill the millipede easier. The DDT bags are effective weapons. You can use them against all of the creepy crawlies. Watch for the spiders. They are dangerous. They also increase in numbers the further you go. And please stay away from the ladybugs. They're not ladies. They will kill you if they touch you. Try to keep the bottom area clear, so you have room to escape the spiders and dragonflies. Try to shoot the dragonflies during the 4th and 8th waves. This is the only way you can continue. Try to shoot the inchworm. It puts the game into slow motion, which makes shooting more effective. Well, now that we all know a little bit more about Millipede, let me hear from my two cadets, Cadet Bob and the lovely Sabrina. Cadet Bob, tell us about the speed of this game. The speed? It was incredible. Bugs, creepy crawlies, and the millipede are coming at you faster and faster. 
It blew me away! Don't move, Cadet Bob. You owe me one, Bob. Looks as if you didn't escape all those little crawlies. Cadet Bob? In the future, Cadet Bob, let's check for bugs, okay? Okay. Now, what was your overall rating on this game? Oh, I like this game. It was very challenging. But my favorite type of game is action and adventure. Well, let's hear from the other side. The game was rad. I had no problems with it. But I can see by the spider that some people did. Now, now, kitties, let's not bicker. Let's move on to another game. <laughs> and it's one of my favorite games. Aww. <laughs> I love that girl. <laughs> now, let's display for our video viewers our game analyzer. Cadet Bob, is it ready? Yes, Commander. Good. Now it's time to move on to our next game. Cadet Bob, how are those repair bots doing? Repair bots work almost complete. Good. Good, Cadet Bob. Our next game is Adventure Island by Hudson Soft. Let's close in and take a look. just found out that Princess Leilani was kidnapped by the evil witch doctor and taken to Adventure Island, which is in the South Pacific. <laughs> You're without weapons or food, and the island is thick with tropical forests, mountains, and caves. Hidden are skateboards, axes, food, and other tools. And you'd better find the weapons and food, because you'll need them to fight the witch doctor's spiders, snakes, bats, and demons. The evil witch doctor has set lots of traps for you before you can face him one on one. Yes, this game is another running forward game like our all-time favorite, Super Mario Brothers. And here are some hints. To jump high, you must run forward as fast as possible. Collect the hearts. They give you extended playing time. Learn how to jump on the eggs. When done correctly, you will get the contents. Some of the contents will be axes, fireballs, diamonds for extra points, and other useful items. Find where the little angel is. It will make you invulnerable to hazards. Now collect the fruit. The more fruit you have, the more points you get. Each fruit gives you extra points. Find the hidden egg that contains the fireballs. Fireballs are a very powerful weapon. The jumping blue octopus must be shot twice to kill them. There are four sections for each level of play. You must make it through all sections to get to the next level of play. But wait! Who are those spacemen? It looks like Zumak and Fred! Who are those clowns? And what are they doing in my video? I don't have time for this! That's better. Let's see what the experts think of this game. Sabrina, what do you think of the graphics of this game? They're sharp and very colorful. The game moves very fast. I especially like the little angel. You would. 
Now, now, cadets, let's not bicker. We've got a ship to run. Are you with me, kiddies? Hey! Ha ha! Ha ha! Let's hear what Cadet Sabrina's overall rating for this adventure game is. Great, but I think I would only rent this game, at least for now. Cadet Bob? This is my type of game. I might even buy one. Well, I believe you, Cadet Bob. Now, let's get the video game analyzer ready. Yes, sir, Commander, sir! Oh, good spunk, kiddies, good spunk. Ha ha, I'm proud of you. Okay, let's display the graphics. What do you mean I have to go through you to talk to Uranus? Do you have any idea who you're talking to? No, I'm not Eddie Money. Okay, okay. Let me talk to my cadet on Uranus. Get me Uranus. Uranus doesn't answer, sir. What do you mean Uranus doesn't answer? Well, get me Saturn. Get me Saturn. Saturn doesn't answer, sir. Okay, thanks. Just as I suspected. <laughs> Looks like there's been some foul play. Let me call Scout 7 on the space radio phone. Scout 7? Scout 7, reporting to headquarters. Hello, Scout 7. I tried calling Uranus, but with no luck. You're on Saturn, what's the scoop? Huh? Always telling jokes, huh? <laughs> okay, I see, I see. Okay. Okay! Good work, Scout 7! Bob! Full white warp speed ahead! Sabrina, what's our estimated time of arrival? You got me, Commander Varnett! Good! <laughs> now we'll have time to look at a few new accessories. The first product will be the... The first product will be the Ultima. The Ultima is manufactured by Bishu and is a futuristic shape. It has all the features you need for even the most complex video game. It has right and left hand controls, automatic fire, slow motion, turbo, and of course the regular features of any control pad. It comes in remote and non-remote versions. Tell me, Sabrina, what do you think of the Ultima joystick? It looks good and plays good. It's one of my favorite joysticks. If you were to go into battle with the evil emperor, what light weapon would you use? Well, I see that Bob is using the gun, Sabrina. Let's see what this little gunslinger thinks about it. It's as good as any of views. It's very accurate and durable in a battle. Well, Bob, that's quite a bit of words there. Ow! <laughs> Howdy, partners! <laughs> now you can draw with the best in the West with this new gun. You can shoot with the real gunslingers. The Video Blaster by Comerica is a double action six shooter which lets you be the cold-blooded quick draw artist you've always wanted to be. It features an extra long cord and a gun sight for better accuracy. Bad Bob, what's the aim like? Well, I'll be doggone. Look at this vomit. I think we'll have it for dinner. <laughs> Bad Bob, what's the aim like on that pup? Deadly. I can shoot an eye off a prairie dog at a hundred yards. You don't say. Well, good. I hope none of our viewers are prairie dogs. <laughs> Bob, what about the western design on that gun? It's a mighty fine piece. I sure like the real look. And the double action is fun. Well, that's the video blaster from Comerica. And thanks, Cadet Bob, you old side buster. <laughs> now, kids out there in video land, we're going to take a look at the Quick Shot 12 Joystick by SVI. 
It features six spring-driven micro switches. I don't know how they got six micros to switch, <laughs> but they did. And it makes one of the most responsive joysticks money can buy. Besides the micros, it has a contoured handle. Sabrina, while you were playing with this joystick, did you see any micros? No, Commander Varna, no micros. But the micro switches work good. Sabrina, are you sure you didn't see any micros when you were playing with it? Well, give us your overall rating of this. Hot for an inexpensive joystick, this puppy performs. Good. Okay. Now. Darn it, that phone. Not again. Oh, God. Hello? Commander Varnak speaking. How may I help you? The Galactic Society for the Protection of Prairie Dogs? No. Why no? Hey, listen, we were just kidding. <laughs> you can take a joke, can't you? <laughs> See, everybody's laughing. Hey, listen, we really didn't mean it that way. <laughs> okay, okay, look, I'm sorry. My cadets and I are sorry, okay? It'll never happen again. <laughs> you have a good day, too. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs> Guess I told him. <laughs> please, please, hold your calls now, okay? We didn't shoot any prairie dogs in the air. <laughs> Perhaps a rubber chicken or two. But listen, it was only a figure of speech. <laughs> well, listen, kids, that's it for our video accessories this issue. And Sabrina... What's our final time of arrival now? One minute and five seconds, Commander Varnak. Commander, I'm picking up two of the Emperor's ships on my long red scanner. Ha ha! Ha ha! Just as I suspected. <coughs> All right, prepare for battle, cadets. Shoot your shit now! Good shot, Sabrina! Good shot! Connect Bob! Quickly! Under your control panel is a switch! There's a secret switch! Throw it! And we will all become invisible! And the other ship will go right past us! Repair bots immediately. Repair bots immediately start and repair us. <laughs> Cadet Bob, would you please open the door manually? Commander Varnak, ship Cadet Sabrina speaking. Hello, Cadet Sabrina. This is your commander. Listen, I've disguised myself as a repair bot, and I have discovered that Scout 7 was right. The evil emperor has taken over all of the outer planets of your solar system. <gasps> Need not worry. Varnak has it under control. We must report this to our friends on Earth. By the way, how are the repairs doing? The repairs are coming along. But we need some time before we're back to full operation. Okay. I'm returning to the ship. Okay.
thought that door could fool me. <laughs> what happened to your disguise? This is my disguise. Cadets, leave this moon for Earth. Maximum warp speed. And Cadet Bob, have those repair bots do something with that door, please. Repair bot, DNR, repair our door. Okay. <laughs> it's time to kick back and take a look at a few more games. Now, if you're the kind of game player who likes airplane games, then this next game should be right up your aircraft carrier. <laughs> Case in point, the year 1943. The scenario, our main fleet and the enemy's mobile unit have begun an intense battle off the coast of Uomala. During the battle, we suffered tremendous losses and lost the carrier hawk's nest. You are our only hope. Thus begins 1943 by Capcom. A popular arcade game now in the Nintendo format. For the first time in this game, you fly a P-38 over the Midway Islands. You select how to power your P-38, and you are vastly outnumbered by the enemy's airplanes. Here are some helpful hints. Try powering up your aircraft by holding the fire button down. Now collect the Yashima, or Energy Star, to fully restore the energy to your aircraft. There are many hidden objects. You must learn where they are. They will get you the needed energy for those crucial times. The fork in the POW is one of the best weapons in the first eight levels. Shoot the POWs to select weapons and collect energy. There are hidden places to reconfigure your aircraft. You must remember where they are, and it is important to change the configuration so you can continue through the level. With a high special weapon configuration, you can shoot the POWs and pick up the two additional aircraft. This greatly increases your firepower. To get past the third level, you must power up all of your shots and stay away from the enemy's plane's bullets. There are secret codes, so you can access any level up to level 22. Write down the code you're looking at now, and you will be able to access level 16 whenever you want. It's important to have the right configuration for your aircraft. You should try to change the configuration on each level by adding more and more to each item in the configuration. Be sure to stay clear of the debris when you shoot down the final object at the end of each level. It's dangerous stuff. When you finish level 16, the game makes you think you're finished. But this is a false ending. Keep playing. You've only just begun. There are still eight levels of play for you. Hey, right out there in video land, let's see how this game flacks up. <laughs> oh, I mean stacks up. <laughs> okay, Bob, let's see this puppy on the graphics. 
the graphics are fresh. Each level gets harder and harder. And at the end of all the levels are bad. Good, good. Sabrina, your thoughts on this game? This game is challenging. It keeps getting harder and harder. There are more and more airplanes. This is a very exciting game. Well, fantastic. Listen, Cadet Bob, let's look at the game analyzer right now. Now our last game we're going to review is Karnov the fire-breathing Russian. While seeking the lost treasure of Babylon, he runs, swims, jumps, climbs, and flies through nine levels of play. Countless enemies of various sizes and strengths are out to prevent Karnoff from finding the treasure. Some of the enemies you will encounter are the Snake Woman, Rockman, Ghidorah, Chicken Bone, and the Lion Keeper. While combating these enemies, try to collect shields, swimming masks, wings, extra lives, and glasses. Here are some helpful hints. Try to get the ball so you can double the firepower. Collect the caves. It takes 50 of them to get each extra man. Try to collect the shoes. They will let you jump further than ever. As you can see, this can be very helpful. To get past the dinosaur, at the third level you must first get the shield and the ladder. When you get to the dinosaur, put the ladder up. Use your shield and shoot him between the eyes. Now, at the beginning of the fourth level, there is an important energy pill. You must put the ladder up and jump for the pill. If you have the mask, when you walk past hidden object, an alarm will sound. And you can select the mask which will enable you to see the hidden objects. At the end of the fourth level, you will meet Medusa. The ladder and the shield are needed as in level three, so you can shoot her in the head. Be very careful. She's deadly. While swimming, use the mask to swim faster. Now, there's a hidden room underneath the water. Learn where it is. There can pick up the shield and other useful items. If you stop at the first pillar and wait, you can shoot the flying genies so they don't pester you throughout this level. Now remember, you can use the pause button at any time. So you can select any weapon. This will let you conserve lives and time. It's very helpful in this level to drop your stars to kill the rock monsters. There's no other way. At the end of this level, you must shoot the two-headed monster in both heads to kill him. At the beginning of level 8, jump back! And you can get extra wings, which you will need so you can cross this level. If you jump on the second step, the green monster will pester you, so avoid it at all costs. 
Well, let's see what our cadets think of our final game. <laughs> Bob, were you challenged by this game? I sure was. Karnov is a difficult game to master, and Russian is a hard language to learn. Good point. Sabrina, what did you think of this game? And what did you think of the speed, and were the graphics up to par? They were great, and some of the best I've seen. I already own one of these gnarly adventures. All right. Cadet Bob, give us the game analyzer. Well, that's it for our reviews out there today. And now it's time for our letters from... The Commander Varnak Fan Club. That's right. You can write in and ask me questions about me. Us about us! Us about us. Now, our first letter this evening is from Benny the Jackhammer Finstermeyer from Lompoc, California. Lompoc! Lompoc. Now, he dare ask me, what kind of equipment does Commander Varnock have? Varnack! That's right! <laughs> well, Benny, I'll tell you. This information is top secret, but I feel you can be trusted, so I will share it with you. My chest shield is made of laser and bulletproof material. My glasses are made of a highly specialized material that shield me from lasers and allow me to play 3D games without any special connections. <laughs> Now, you can write in to Commander Varnock and have your letter read on any one of our issues. And Sabrina will tell you how it's done. Write to Commander Varnock, Post Office Box 14324, San Luis Obispo, California, 93406. And we will try to publish your letter on our next issue. Retro Rockets engaged. Sabrina, what's our estimated time of arrival to the planet Earth? Two hairs past a freckle, Commander. Ha, that's right. Cadet Bob, how are those repair bots doing? Give me a status report. Repair bots, aim secondly. Good. Set course directly and head for Earth. Off! What was that explosion? Will there be a tomorrow for our cadets? Will Commander Varnak's mother ever get her shopping list filled? Find out in Commander Varnak's next exciting issue coming in May of 1989.